Hello, MCM Liverpool, how are we? Oh, a bit better than that, how are we? Ah, we have Louise Brealy on stage, how are you Louise? I am very well, thank you. Yeah? Just trying to get, yeah, hi. <laughs> As you can see, we've swapped chairs. Louise said she'd rather be on that chair, and I, and I said to her, by all means, be comfortable there, oh. I'll be nice <laughs> and relaxed in this chair. Yeah, I like being big. Yeah, good, good, so. Um, How's Con been for you so far? It's been early doors so far for you here, but how has it been for you so far? Fans been okay? Horrible. Oh, really? Every one of them nasty oh. to the core. I can only apologise on that front. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen any Sherlock or Ripper Street cosplayers hanging and lurking around near you? Or? Yes, lots of little Sherlocks. Yeah? Yeah, very nice. Any kiddie Sherlocks? Gone yes, walking one, around. one small one. Oh, wow. I like the small ones. Do you? <laughs> yes, they make me feel tall. So you've had 13 episodes of Sherlock as Molly Hopper and seven episodes okay. of Ripper Street as Dr. Amelia Frain, I'm going right. to say. Thank you very much. Let's start off with Sherlock. First question I'm going to ask you is probably the question you get asked all the time. What's it like working with Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not bad, thanks. Yeah, are they Why do I sound like a Smurf? <coughs> Hello. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's all right. They're nice. They're nice, really nice characters, offset as well as onset. Yeah, they're all right. Yeah. <laughs> they're lovely. Yeah. No, um, oh God, I never know what to say. You'd no. think I'd have learned by now. I no. do get asked it a lot. No, they're just really nice, professional, handsome. Yeah. Kind, funny men. Breathtakingly handsome, or just, oh, yeah, he's They're fit. Not breathtaking. They're all right. Oh. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> so, what is your take on Molly uh, and Sherlock's relationship? And do you feel it's developed over the episodes and seasons? Uh, I do feel it has developed, yes. Yeah, a hell of a lot, or just <laughs> little bits and bobs here and there? Um... Well, it's been seven years. You'd hope that it had um, shifted a little bit. Uh, yes, I think they're friends now. I can't get over how high-pitched I sound. Yeah. I hate it. Nice. Um, um, do you yeah. like this? <laughs> uh, yes, their relationship has developed a lot. I don't know. Are you, you, have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. I think they've uh, bits and bobs. It's kind of loosely kind of, how can I put it? It's edged in slowly, and the way that they've come, she really likes him, and he's kind of distant. <laughs> and it's, you know, I kind of like it that it's been taken in, in such a slow context. It's not that um, it's been forced upon you straight away. It's like, oh, look, they're going to they're gonna be together at the end of, say, season whatever. Um, but, yeah, I think it's progressed really well. Well, I think it's highly un it was highly unlikely that they were even going to have a friendship at the start. And yeah. now, so that's really been the journey, that they love each other in their way. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's not really up to me to say who no. loves who and what and why. And, and I'm probably a little bit less interested in that than perhaps oh, okay. some people are. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. I just try to make her a real person, really. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. my job. So, Molly works at Bath Molly. You can do the other stuff. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> What's that? Sorry, no. no, you carry no, on. No. No, no, you carry on. <laughs> <laughs> so Molly works at Bartholomew's Hospital as a specialist registrar in the morgue. Uh, did you do any research um, f f for the character? No. No, none at all? No, I, I, no. I just said the lines convincingly <laughs> and, wore, and wore a white coat. I let the costume do the talking. Um, no, I didn't do any research at all. No. I don't actually even know what her job is. No. Oh, that's... <laughs> you say that she's a specialist registrar. Yeah. I say, cool. Cool, man. <laughs> Wicked. Cool no, beans. I, I mean, I know it's shocking, but I, it just didn't feel like that kind of a gig. No. It was more... Oh, I hate this microphone. It's evil. <laughs> Can I have yours? You sound really low-pitched. If I take this, will I be lower? Yes, I will. Yes, I'm okay. fine. Then that's better. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I just concentrated on the character. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, with writing that good, you just have to say the words and look okay. into someone's face as if they're a real person, too. So that's the plan. So is that me or you? No. Who's feeding uh, back here? Yeah. <laughs> so um, basically, uh, you said you didn't really research into the role. Did you <laughs> find anything interesting out about her, like job, the job role that she does? 
like, is there any interesting elements that you kind of walked into set and like, well, what? these are your lines for today? Um, yes, I mean, I suppose the thing is, and we don't film there anymore. You'll have noticed there are a good few less scenes set in the morgue in later, seri uh, later series, and that's because Mark hates filming in the morgue, so he doesn't write any fil scenes there. Yeah. He just gi it gives him the willies, I think <laughs> is the, um, the technical term. Uh, yeah, it's a real morgue in Merthyr Tydfil in Wales, and uh, it's got dead people in the fridge. It's not great. Yeah. You know, it's kind of interesting briefly, and then it's just a bit weird. A bit weird, yeah. Well, so, yeah. So, you know, that, uh, when I first went into a morgue, it was fascinating. Yeah. But then when you actually do the maths, it's not ideal. No, it's not the best situation to be in, or the it's best place really. to be in. Just don't look down the drains. Oh, nice. Ideally. Anyway. <laughs> Good happy, happy. morning. <laughs> Have you had a nice <laughs> breakfast? <laughs> I had some unsmoked bacon. It was a bit weird. Didn't taste nice, I guess. It was all right. Yeah. Uh, hello. <laughs> what else? Back in the room. <laughs> Back in the room. So, what did you most enjoy? What have you most enjoyed about playing Molly, like f so far? The fame. Fame. You <laughs> love the fame. The adulation. <laughs> yeah. The adoration. Yeah. The um. Oh, what have I enjoyed? Well, just being a part of something that's sort of ridiculously well loved, you know, because just having a small part in that means that you get a tiny little share of that love, and that, you know, that's who it. doesn't like to feel liked? Liked and loved and <laughs> adored by. Look at all these fans around. They just that's well, they're, I mean. they're just nice, nice, friendly people. Hello, you, look, you do look very nice. It must be said, especially yep. you. Yes, you. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, I don't know. It's just, you can't, you do lots of different stuff and you can't really tell when you say yes to something if it's going to um, uh, resonate with people. Yeah. And something like this did and has, and that's amazing. And well, it's been seven years, so staying with a character for that long is also brilliant and uh you know, it's a sort of game changer for yeah, all of us. Exactly. It's made some people very, very rich. <laughs> Not me. No. <laughs> but <laughs> it's not about the money. It's about the love. Oh, it is. I think, yeah, having a big fan base and having them people <laughs> tune in week after week to find out what's going on with different characters. <laughs> yes. That's well, beautiful. Three, ti three times every two years, but yes. Yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> I'm not being facetious. It, it's true. They, they're, um, well, I was, but I didn't mean to be. I'm sorry, everyone. Being facetious publicly. Shit. And on YouTube. Oh, no. <laughs> so out of all the Sherlock moments... Cut to obviously that. Oh. Bring one at my nostril. Not good. Oh. I've never noticed that before. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that picture? No, no, it's marvellous. That's serious. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> So out of all the Sherlock moments that we've had over the seasons, what's been your personal favourite that you can pick out that you've really enjoyed? Um, well, for me to look at, rather than me being a part of, I just, I thought, my favourite episode is probably the Reichen Back Fall, and I just think everyone's hitting a six in that one. And um, yeah. Martin's response to, John's response to Sherlock's jump, I just think it's, it's just a masterclass. It's absolutely, it makes me cry every time. It's just amazing. He's brilliant. Um, yeah, so probably that bit. Yeah. Has my hair gone really silly? No, it looks brilliant. On point. <laughs> now. <laughs> so, we put the feelers out. You've got a good Twitter fan base that we've noticed. Um, your fans have been very, very, uh, given the voice out there. Um, and they've given us some questions for our Twitter TARDIS. Great. So, if you would like to delve oh. into our Twitter TARDIS and, and pick out, dip. we have qu quite a lot in there. So, if you could yeah, pick out one, it. and we'll do two more after this before we go on to questions to from our lovely audience here. Hello, this is from Emily Lou, with a U. How hard was it to play stage? And uh, it, uh, how hard was it? Well, it, was, it wasn't hard in one regard because you're just doing a job, but I have to say I had to film a scene, and I'm sorry about this in terms of trigger stuff for anybody, but I had to film a scene where I was binging, and that I f the, the thing that I found difficult actually, sorry, it's, very, it's quite serious, I beg your pardon, but was how violent I 
found that act of, of, pu of pushing food into my mouth, I found it really violent and I hadn't, luck, I'm very blessed and I don't have any issues with food myself, but the, the sort of violence of that and the sort of against yourself, I hadn't really thought about that and, and I, I found it really shocking and very distressing actually. Um, so yeah, that was hard, but it's not hard because I'm, you know, I'm, I just thought it was, I just it made me think about how desperately hard life is for so many people and yeah, so it was that really, rather than it being, oh no, it was so tough for me to put some crisps in my mouth, you know, whatever, I ju it just gave me some sort of w weird insight into how desperately difficult it is for you know, a lot of people. Yeah. So that was that. Let's get another yeah, one. Yeah, let's get another one. Quick. Oh, straight You've in. You've broken Go. the TARDIS. Sorry, guys. Oh, no. Um, He's making a noise now. The TARDIS is making a noise. That's the same person. I'm going to have to just. Perhaps they're all. The they're same all person. Like from one person. I'm oh, picking them. We're getting picking. Do I have any upcoming theatre project that I want to talk about? Hashtag Buzz Liverpool, Jess Hooper. No, but I am in two TV shows, one of which is on iPlayer right now. Shameless plug. It's by Oy. the people who made Skins. It's called Cleek. And it's got loads of very, very pretty young women in it. And me. And some pretty young boys. And <laughs> <laughs> my friend, Emon Elliot, who's pretty, but not young. He won't thank me for that. Sorry, Emon. Well, you should have texted me back yesterday. That's all I can say. Ooh. Anyway. Uh, uh, yes, that's called Clique, and it's brilliant, and it started on uh, iPlayer last week. It's on for six more weeks. It's really good, very, very dark indeed. Um, and then I'm doing a sitcom with David Mitchell and Robert Webb. You might not know, they did a show called Peep Show. Peep. You have to be careful with your peas on a microphone. Peep. Peep Show. And it's not Peep Show, because that's finished, but it is, it's a, a sitcom playing David Mitchell's sister, and they're so brilliant and funny and nice, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, anyway, that's it. Cool. One more from the TARDIS, and then we'll go straight to the audience. Oh, good old rummage. This is a big one. Oh. Same bloody... Oh, there's only oh. two women on there. <laughs> Jesus. Whoever you are, stop sending questions. The TARDIS is growling like a little dog. Oh. Lolly. Sorry. <laughs> that's it. Uh, cherry brandy. No, anyway, uh, that's a joke for the older members of the crowd. Which Disney movie is your favourite? I think you could be a good belle because you speak French. I do speak French very badly. Better when I'm drunk on red wine. Don't put it back in. Uh, Disney movie favourite. Oh, God, it's hard, isn't it? It's probably Snow White, even though it's like princes rescuing fair maidens uh, just because it's so beautiful and I saw it at the cinema when I was very small I, I, like not in the 30s not that old but I did see it when I was little and that sort of an experience has a big impact on a little person uh, yeah that's it who's got a question question in the audience so look there's one over here oh we've been chosen is anyone gonna He's t yeah, it's yeah. you. <laughs> the mic is now flying out to that Shout. person. God, I'm so high-pitched. I should have done some voice exercises to this morning. Hello. Oh, dear. It's a shambles. Yeah. We just need to get the mic to him, guys. There's a small person with a mic. Our roving reporter, Steph, is on her way now. Come on, Steph. Thank you. She's smashed it. OK, hello. What's your name? Oh, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Hello. Hello. Uh, so you've starred in so many detective drums like Sherlock, Ripper Street, and even the one called Mayo I watched <laughs> when I was in high school. <laughs> so do you see yourself in the soon, hopefully, like taking the reins and being a title detective in your own show? Well, we do have a lot of detective shows, don't we? I'd love to play an actual detective. I've never... I don't think I've actually played the detective, although I was very good in this thing, Mayo. It was a kind of a crazy, zany thing. With a I had a little black bob. That's my favourite part of the show because I got great costumes. I had a brown, I had brownie badges on my jacket. She was a sort of prototype Molly, but with better hair. Um, 
Anyway, I noticed the other day, because I was cutting a show reel, that I was solving one of the crimes, and I was doing this. So we all know where Benedict got that from. Yeah. Basically <laughs> ripped it off from me. You what, love? It should. Thank you. It was a very long time ago, but yes, it would have been nice to come back to that. Um, anybody else? Preferably Any close by. Oh, over here, in the hat. It's not narrowing it down at a convention, is it? <laughs> <laughs> the Mad Hatter. How rude. <laughs> Where is... Steph is Steph. battling her way through. Make Poor way, Steph. Steph. Hello. Hello. Um, my name's Jamie. Um, what, was Hi, it like Jamie. To, what was it like to kiss Benedict Cumberbatch? It was awesome. <laughs> 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 That's it. That's I mean, it. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Anybody time for else? Preferably over here. I'm joking. One, one, no, Louise! It's a joke. One more. One more. Let this lady here. Come on. Could have got ten questions in. Steph, Poor we old could have, Steph. Steph is like coming through the motions here. Steph, we're here at the front. Steph. I, I tried to do it so it was like this, just to take yeah, the bit. Just to... Hello. Hi, my name is Tasha. Hi, Tasha. Um, do you think that this is the last season of Sherlock? Do you think there's a chance for it to, you know, will there be any more? I think it is the last one. Um, I, oh. I, I hope that like a couple of years down the line, they'll just go, do you know what, we've written this thing. Do you all want to come back and do it? And of course, we'll all say yes. But I think it feels like a good place to leave it. I mean, obviously, I want to play Molly forever. And I hope that we will get another stab at it. But it also, I, I don't know, I literally don't know because I know as much as you guys, except obviously I know Mark and Stephen, but maybe I know a little bit more than you guys. But anyway, uh, I, I do think that it's most likely to be something like that. Like five years down the line, they'll say, we've written a special, do you want to come back? And, uh, and then we all will. But I think in terms of its serial element, I, I think for now it's done. And, and um, it's sad, but it... It was, a, it was a good ride, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much to our audience. You've thank been absolutely you. brilliant. Um, so we've got uh, one more question. Um, basically, we had class on here, the two guys from class. Um, they're in their Doctor Who spin-off, but we're all waiting with bated breath to, <laughs> to hear who's going to replace Peter Capaldi <laughs> in Doctor Who. It's true. Um, Who is going to replace him? So is it him? you? It is me. <laughs> Who is it? Do we know? No one knows. My friend just did a Doctor Who and has a good idea, but I couldn't possibly tell you. What? Oh. No. No, because I'm getting <laughs> the massive doo -doo. So, if it's not you, how would you play the Doctor? Oh, my God. Come on. There's got to be a... F how would I play them? I'd play them with a very high-pitched voice. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I haven't... Uh, that's probably... I don't know. And you said you... Fit, uh, you said also you'd had lovely costumes with the show that you've done. What costume would you? What kind of costume would you wear? Because obviously the doctor's flamboyant. I think I, I think I'd wear a long stripy scarf. Would you? I think that's a really good idea for a Doctor yeah. Who, don't you? I do. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> well, Louise Brilly, it's been absolutely amazing. Thank you for coming on thank the stage you, and giving Jamie. us your time. Uh, thank you to thank lovely people time. out there. Thank you very much. Round of applause, please, thank Louise. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.